All right, everybody, this is a, a learning video for you guys, um, teaching you what I look for when I enter into a trade. Um, so when I'm entering into a trade, and let me put my stop loss where it's supposed to be, right up underneath the big green arrow to make sure I did that right. I have two positions. All right, so let's do that and move this one down to here. And there we go. Okay, so I followed my rules. All right, so anyway, I want to show you this. What do I look for when I'm taking trades? So number one, of course, I'm looking for the triple arrow system on the 30 minute chart. And this is the 30 minute chart, as it says right here. Uh, we're on the Aussie CAD. So as you're seeing this video, it is right now 647 Central Time. Today's date is 823.18. So you can always backdate this and look and see whether it told the truth, whether it worked or didn't work because it's live. And as you can see, this is a live trade because you can see it's moving as we speak so for all the people who's trying to say oh he's fake it's phony and all that stuff go 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 somewhere else with that okay so for anybody who wants to learn what do i look for when i'm looking for a valid trade on the 30 minute chart using the triple arrow i'm looking for a big arrow little matching arrow and the yellow and then i enter and as you can see if you was to take this trade here uh to the downside it would have measured and i've already pre-measured it but i'll measure it again in front of you guys, it would have, and to its low point, it would have went all the way down to 123 pips. If it was just where you would have took it, got out of the down trade and flipped to the other side, basically you're looking at a 112 pip move, and it only took two days to make this move, okay? Two days. That's 50 something pips, 56 pips per day. Two day move, right? All right. So now I'm playing it to the upside and it's course for those who understood that other video where I talked about the Mark Williams. Mark means M's at the top. Sometimes the charts uh, will create an M pattern at the top and a W at the at the bottom as a reversal. So as I can see, I'm looking here, I see big arrow, little arrow and a yellow. And then I see a W pattern right here. So that is another confirmation to the upside. And then, like I said, I use this Osma right here, or you can use the MACD, uh, Mountain, whatever. Uh, it all do the same thing to kind of give you an indication where the stuff is going. So it's multiple confirmations. One, two, three, four. And then the W pattern is five. Hey, that's good enough for me. I put my, my trades in right here. Got my stop loss directly underneath the big arrow, uh, like I teach in the program. And then after that, I walk away, I shut down the computer. But in addition to that, listen very carefully. One of the things that I also do that is critically important for a successful trade to give you the best advantage, because again, you can take to have the best trading system, but if a news event comes out or if the market makers decide to do big things with the spread, as you can see right now, it's only a 1.12 spread. They can spread this thing all the way up to nine pips or, or more. OK, depending on the broker you have, sometimes they manipulate the market outside of those two things. This trade should go in the exact direction we're looking for. Now, how do I know that? Very good question. Let's take a look at what I'm looking for. I'm going to switch time frame. So right now I can go to the 15. And let's get this scooted over so you guys can see it. This is critically important. As you can see, triple arrows. One, two, three on the 15. Okay. 30 minutes is my favorite trading time frame. One, two, three. Then I go and see if the big arrow is on higher time frames that's going in the same direction. So let's go to the one hour. What do you see? Boom. There it is. And let's go to the four hour. What do we see? Boom, the triple arrow was already here. So what this actually is, you can see it went up, it pulled back. So that obviously means on the shorter time frame, we're jumping in on the reversal back to the top side because the four hour already said it's supposed to be where? Going up. One, two, three. So it should have went up. So sometimes it has this reverse. You know, it pulled back and then it resumes its pattern. So we are catching the res the resuming of the pattern from on the 30 minute chart from this pullback on the four hour. All right. And then let's check the daily. Oh, look at there. The big arrow is also on the daily. So the daily is also showing that it went, it's supposed to go up. Then it pulls back. Now, this is some one more teaching point for those who have the system already. On the earlier time frames, the earlier the time, the quicker the arrows will show. And then as things are moving along, the other ones will begin to get the other arrows later on. So as you can see, like on the one hour, the third arrow didn't come in until up here. Was it was it a good trade? Absolutely. Look at this big move. Same thing here. Big arrow, little arrow. And then the yellow one comes in a little bit later after there's multiple moves. So the higher the time frame, 
the longer it, the end of the other confirmation arrows will come in. The big arrow will still come in, but the confirmation arrows will come in later, the bigger the time frame. And that's perfectly fine too, because hey, that's even more confirmation on the longer time frame for surety. But this is the reason why I like the 30 minute. It sits in between the short time frames and the long time frame, such as the one hour. And let me push this up so you can see what I'm talking about. So just in case we have some newbies. All right. So as you can see, the one minute, five minute, 15 minute and 30. Then the 30 is sitting in between the look, one, two, three choices here. And then you have four choices over here. I don't consider the monthly uh, or the weekly. So I only really uh, check the daily four hour and one hour. OK, so you have three choices on the left. One, one minute, five minute, 15 minute. And then you have three choices on the right. H1, which is one hour. Every candle was one hour. Every candle here is H4 is four hour. And every candle here represents a day. So between these, this is why the 30 minute is my favorite because it sits in between the short term and long term. And so therefore, when I want to know for sure, hey, where is this thing going as an additional confirmation? Yeah, I will check on the 15 and see is there triple arrows? Yes, it is. All right, so we're already on the 30, we have the triple arrows, and I know eventually that means as this thing is moving forward, the other arrow confirmation arrows will come in later on the one hour, but I'm already in on the trade early from the 30 minute, right? And then when I see that the big arrow has already created a triple arrow on the four hour, and it's supposed to be going up, so what happened? Oh, it was just a pullback, now it's resuming its pattern, and then on the daily, same exact thing. See, big arrow is here, pull back, and then as this thing resume, it'll get the triple arrows on the daily as it did here. Look at this. One, two, three. Now, let me show you one more reason why I like the 30. By the time the confirmation arrow came in, which is totally fine, because look, from here to here, even if you just played it to here, that was 437 pips on the daily. So even if you caught it real late right here and jumped in, you were still fine. But Here's what I'm looking at. Why not catch it on an earlier note? And I can play all those patterns up and down, right? But uh, so that, but here, let me show you what my point was. My point was from here, from this entry to here was 135 pip move that you missed. So I don't miss those big moves when I'm trading it from the 30 minute chart and confirming the big arrow on the higher time frames. Not waiting for all three arrows to come in, but just confirming that the big arrow is saying, yes, this is a definite trend change in that direction. So now I know momentum will be heading in the same direction as my 30 minute. I can surely enough stack my trades on here and take my behind to sleep. I'm not even worried about it. You know, just do your thing and leave. Uh, because there's nothing to worry about and let the thing ride where it's going to go. OK. All right. And then um, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this. So I'll pause this video. We'll come back later on and check the results. I just want to use this as a teaching opportunity for what I'm looking for with the triple arrow system uh, when I know I want to hold this trade for quite some time. Now, if I don't see the big arrow on the long higher time frames, then I know it's probably just a quick reversal and I'll probably play it on the 15 minute, which is the shorter time frame because I don't expect to be in this trade long term and I'll be in and out, uh, you know, maybe play, make about 40, 50, maybe 100 pips and then I'm done because I already know the higher time frames are saying reversal, reversal. Let me give you an example of that. Here goes the Aussie New Zealand. OK, and this will be it. And then we'll pause it. All right. So the Aussie New Zealand, the, of course, this came in late uh, early and then you still have these. And you can see that it's upward momentum. Right. All right. Cool. So 30 minute. We only have two, but we know the third one is coming in. It's spiked up. Right. OK. But why didn't I take this one and do more than one position on this? And let me show you why. Here's the one hour. I see the confirmation candle. But look at the four hour. What does the four hour say? See, one, two, three, and then boom, it's still showing downward momentum. Daily, look at that. One, two, three. Daily momentum is showing it's supposed to be heading down. So that's the reason why I decided to take the Aussie CAD, which is showing the upward momentum on the longer time frames versus the Aussie uh, New Zealand. I took a little small position on the Aussie New Zealand. Uh, but not I'm not going to hold that one long because I know the longer time frames are not supporting it. OK. All right. So I paused the video. Hopefully this taught you something and we'll come back and see what the results are later on. All right, everybody. This is the GBP AUD. And as you can see, triple arrow showed up one, two and three. And yes, it went, uh, you know, sideways for a minute. But as you can see, it's a long drop. So as you can see, I'm about to close out that trade and take my money. All right. That one's done. 
And now let's take a look at the A pairs. Remember, we got an AUD CAD. I believe that's what the video was for. And boom, one, two, three, and we have blast off. All right, and there we go. Uh, oh, I forgot to take screenshots before I close these things because uh, a lot of people don't believe. So I'm actually going to take a screenshot right now of this one and post it up showing 34 pips. I should have closed to show the other one that had the uh, other pips. So you're literally seeing what I'm doing and posting this one here. All right. And we're going to put that one into my Facebook page. All right. And 34 pips. You can't see this screen. So just go with, bear with me. All right. And I'll post that one. And then uh, that's that. And then let me get out of that one. No, I don't want to save that. And see, you guys are seeing this live. Again, you're seeing this live. All right, so that's that one. And here is Ozzy New Zealand for another 29 pips on a shoot up. One, and you see the arrow was on this side. One, two, three, and we have blast off, okay? So I'm going to copy that one. But the other one with the 60 something pips on the GA, you've seen that live on this video. So you know that was actually a truthful statement. Wonderful, it jumped up to 29 pips, so we'll post that one in the Facebook group. All right, and uh, so therefore, uh, hold on one second, everybody, 29 pips. And I'm going to put that one in the Facebook group. Uh, so for those who took the signal, congrats again. Congrats, another winner, another winner. And since it is Friday, why don't we do this? Since it's Friday, instead of trying to hang on to it, well, let's just close it out. So this is uh, AU Aussie New Zealand. So I'm going to close that trade out right in front of you guys. And then we have the uh, 33 pips on the Aussie CAD. And so I'm going to close that trade out. And as you can see, we are done with those trades. So again, uh, congrats to everybody who took the signal. And let's look and see where our use with USD Swiss. It's still there. Uh, okay, on the 15 minute. It's there. All right. So why don't we just close that one out too? And I'll copy that one. And, and let's go ahead and collect our 104 pips because tomorrow it's Friday. Uh, so we don't need to be trading a whole lot on Friday. We'll just take off, take a break. I uh, had a great week of trading. Uh, so 104 pips. And I'll post that in the group. And again, this is happening live because a lot of people don't believe that my triple arrow system work as good as it do. So you're literally watching me do what I do. And so those who took the trade in the trading group, congrats, congrats, congrats. So I'm going to close out all four of those particular ones there. And we are done with that. And then we also have this one here, which is the... Uh, I did close out 100 uh, pips worth of this. And now we still have another 96 going. Um, I may just leave this one. Let's check the one hour and the one hour still is saying that it has a long way to go. Um, so this would be a good place to enter uh, at the top of these. So I'll just let that one ride. And then we're waiting for this one to make its move. I don't know what the holdup is, but it's fighting with tooth and nail. I uh, don't want to go down. So, you know, again, but that's another reason why uh, is because it's fighting against the four hour trend. So why don't we do this? We'll just close that one out. We don't have to fight with it. We'll close that. All right. And there we go. We're done with that. And so now we're left with uh, just um, our euro. Uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, our um, sale on the uh, on the uh, euro uh, USD. OK. All right. I'll post this video and congrats to everybody.